Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a sew along to my new pattern, this fun sailor themed dog bandana. Like always, I give you guys the printing settings, a picture guide how to tape and assemble the pattern, and of course the size chart. With this design, I also went ahead and attached the cut file along with the physical template if you guys would like to make the little centerpiece that goes in the center of the bow. But yeah, now let's move on to the pattern. We're going to quickly do the test square, like always, just to make sure, right, that you printed out the pattern correctly. I always recommend that you print out the first page, though. And then if it does measure the 2 by 2 inches, then go ahead and print out the rest. And another thing is, it also has the dotted border. Uh, and it has the number and letter, so you know how to place them in order. And if you go back to the picture guide and the pattern instructions, I tell you to tape and match on the dotted line from A1 all the way to A8. Then we're going to go down to B1 all the way to B5, okay? And like I said, we're matching on the dotted line, so it's always easier for me to cut one side on the dotted line and then we'll match it and then tape. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the pattern and connecting everything together. size key basically every size represents a color and for this video I'm gonna be working on a medium so I'm gonna cut all the green lines for this pattern and we're gonna cut out two of the bandana and we're gonna start off by creating that little design on the outside of the bandana so I'm basically using what I have so I'm gonna use this trim that I found <laughs> in my little sewing supplies uh, you're welcome to use ribbon uh, and yeah I only had enough to make just one lay like line around the bandana but if you want to do two, like how I have it in the pattern cover, go ahead, be, get creative. Another thing I do want to mention is when you're pinning the little trim, keep in mind, right, the seam allowance that we're going to take in. So I'm going to quickly grab my ruler and help me guide as I'm pinning the trim around the bandana. Now we're going to pin both pieces of fabric right sides together and we're going to leave an opening at the bottom of the bandana so we'll leave around like two to three inch gap and we're going to be sewing half an inch. Before we flip it right side quickly, let's clip and trim the corners and the curves. That, that way, again, when we flip it, the right side it has a nicer edge, especially in the curved like neckline area. Now we're going to do a top stitch and by doing that it's going to close the bottom as well but for my in my case because i ended up using fleece fabric i find it kind of bulky to really do a top stitch so i'm going to skip this step and i'm going to just hand sew close the opening at the bottom of the bandana The last thing we're going to do for the bandana is at the velcro, so I'm using the 3 fourths wide velcro and cut two pieces that measure 2 inches in the length, okay? The first one's going to go on top of the bandana and then the second one's going to go on the inside of the bandana like how I'm showing you guys right here. I'm going to quickly sew it and I'll be right back.
and we are done with the bandana yay okay now let's get started on the bow for the bow i gave you guys three different sizes the four inch five inch and seven inch you guys are welcome to use whatever you want but obviously you know use the smaller size for the smaller sizes and the bigger bow for the bigger sizes okay so for this video i'm going to be using the five inch and we're going to start with the bow part we're going to first fold it hot dog style and we're going to only be sewing the top it's going to be half an inch When you're flipping the bow right side, we're going to keep the seam in the middle. That's going to be the back of the bow. I also went ahead and searched the edges of the bow. That way you know, they don't fray, especially because I am using cotton fabric. Now we're going to fold it in the middle and I'm going to quickly grab a pen and mark it. That way when I open it up, we can uh, put the ends in the middle. But we're going to overlap it just a little bit because we're actually going to sew across and you know you want to get both the pieces when sewing it what it should look like and now let's start working on the tail so for the tail we're going to fold it as well like hot dog style but we're going to leave an opening on the top okay so leave like around like a two inch opening and then we're going to sew half an inch as well. Once you flip it right side and pressed, we're going to close the opening by hand stitching that close. We're also going to mark the middle of the tail and another thing is make sure that the angled part is facing down and then we're going to put it on top of the bow a little bit and we're going to do a gathering stitch okay so you could take this to your machine and do the gathering stitch through there or you could gather it by hand so i'm gonna do it by hand it's not a big deal for me and we're gonna follow the line and we're gonna gather and here's our cute little bow okay so the last thing we're going to do is work on the center and so we're going to fold it hot dog style but this time we're going to do a one fourth seam allowance and again we're going to keep the seam in the middle and that's going to be the back okay so i'm going to quickly press and then i'm going to start by gluing from the back and then i'm going to wrap it all around until we're in the back of the bow again this is what it should look like and then the last thing we're going to do is cut it but don't cut it all the way leave a little bit because we're going to fold it in the inside that way it has a nice edge and we're going to fold take that in and we're gonna have to hand stitch this by hand okay so let me get my needle and i'm gonna do a couple stitches to keep that in place now we're ready to add the bow to the bandana and mine's gonna be detachable so i quickly got these snaps from amazon i'll link the ones that i'm using down below I, and yeah, I'm gonna sew one in the back of the bow and then the other one's gonna go in the front of the bandana. Then 
the last thing I'm gonna do is quickly add the little button that I made for the bow. This step is optional. As I said early in the beginning of the video, I give you guys the cut file and the physical template for you guys to make it if you guys wanna make the exact same one as I made. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna quickly just hot glue it in the center of the bow and we're pretty much done. Here's our sailor bandana. I will link um, the pattern down below in case you guys are interested and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.